everyone. Thanks so much for logging on to CBSDenver.com and CBS in Denver. Time for a few more minutes with our Xfinity Monday Live guest, Corey Sullivan, joining us from his house tonight. Uh, Corey, we talked a lot about the labor negotiations and the ongoing back and forth between Major League Baseball and the players. How do you think this might affect what happens in 2021? Do you mean the relationship between them when they have to go to the negotiating table? <laughs> right, yeah. If they can't figure <laughs> it out now, how are we expected to get the – how are they expected to be figuring it out here in a, a year plus? Uh, I, I, I'm not sure. i got to be honest with you. I think this has gotten pretty contentious just when it comes to coming back to play in 2020. Yeah. Again, if there's not a vaccine by 2021, I think the same conversation may happen before the season, before we even get to the CBA. But the thing is – Baseball before this was in such a healthy state, and it was it was right where everyone wanted it to be. I, I do believe, as nostalgic as it sounds, we can get back to that. It's not like it's that long ago. Let's just realize that it's a game, and everybody wants to see it on TV or in their local stadium. Let's just figure it out. When you were a player, do you remember something like this? I mean, was there some sort of dark cloud that was kind of hanging over the game that, that you went through? I mean, anything that, that oh. can relate to this? And what's your message to the current guys about how to deal with something like this? So my first season in Major League Baseball was 2005, which was the year of survey testing. And base, the year before was survey testing. So 2005 was the first year of actual drug testing, especially for performance enhancing mm -hmm. drugs. And uh, obviously I think everybody can tell I've never done a performance enhancing <laughs> drug. I think anybody who was a fan of the Rockies back in the day probably wished I did. But no, it's, uh, it, you know, it's tough when you're a player because you want to do what's right for the future of the game, but you don't necessarily know what direction the future of the game's going. But I, I say this uh, to all the former players, if you feel steadfast in your beliefs, you stick to them. That's that's the most important thing, and you band together. There's a reason baseball's got the strongest union in the States. Yeah. When you look at this Rockies team, let's say that baseball does happen in 2020, what are you most looking forward to seeing when these guys hopefully get on the field? Well, I, I honestly, I think just to watch competitive baseball. You know what I did last night? I went to a drive-in movie in the club parking lot over here they put up a screen we pulled in the car and they put on the sand lot and honestly it was father's day and it's the sand lot if we miss baseball yeah. i miss baseball i miss hearing the crack of the glove i miss hearing the crack of the bat those are the things i want to see most but i'm, I'm going to be honest if it's a 50 game season it is a dead sprint and one team could catch hot and obviously win their division and just get crushed in the playoffs it's going to be an interesting whichever way it goes I'd like to see 80, but I think it'll probably be somewhere in the 50 to 60 range. Bottom line is it's going to be great for baseball and great for sports fans everywhere if they do get yep. this thing figured out, if they can play baseball in 2020. And uh, it doesn't matter what it looks like. I think it's going to be a lot of fun to watch, and they're going to attract a lot of eyeballs. Corey Sullivan, our guest tonight on Xfinity Monday Live. That is going to do it for us. Thanks so much for logging on to CBS in Denver and CBSDenver.com.